What does it mean to internalize your message? And how does this help you give a better presentation? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. A common mistake that presenters make is they try to memorize their speech. Now, when I say memorize, I mean they try to remember every single word in a scripted talk, whether it's five minutes or 30 minutes, which is a long time to memorize words. But they try to memorize every single word and repeat it the same way every time. This is not effective. It does not work well. Why? Because when you're so focused on memorizing each word the same way every single time, you have an internal focus. You're not internalizing the message so much as it is the script. Why this is a problem is because if you're live, you're, you're giving the presentation, whether it's one-to-one -one in front of a client or prospective client, or you're in front of a room full of people, something is going to inevitably go wrong. Or somebody may ask you a question. If you're so focused on the flow of each word and you get interrupted, chances are very good you will not return back to that same point. What works better, rather than memorization word for word, is internalization of the flow of your talk. And that means that you get very comfortable moving from one point to the next without getting so caught up in the words. The way I try to evolve a talk, either for myself or my clients, is we get it down on paper. We want to just get all the thoughts out. You've heard me say that before, get everything on paper. It's a mess. Remember my friend Craig's admonition that a message is a mess with age? We get the messy part out on paper. This is what we call writing for the eye. How does it look? Then we put it in some type of logical order. At that point, I start to go through it. And then I replace words that look good on paper but don't sound good to the ear. And what I've discovered is that with each rehearsal, each practice, the words that come out of my mouth tend to be more like I speak in everyday language and not the written version. I'm getting more comfortable with internalizing the flow my more natural style comes out. The only way I can get to that point is with repeated practice. I won't beat you up on that, that point in this video. You've heard me say that before. You know you've got to practice. But one of the huge benefits of re repetition of rehearsal is that you get more and more comfortable with your own style and how you'll say something. If you look at the first version, the first written version of your talk versus the 50th, let's say, if you write it out after you've done it 50 times, you'll see that there are many different terms and phrases that have evolved, but the main points are still there. The logical flow is still intact. That is what we mean by internalization versus memorization. Get comfortable with the flow of the concept, the main point, the supporting points, the opening and the conclusion, but don't get hung up on specific words. When you do that, you just can't get out of your head. You're always thinking, what was I supposed to say next? Was it this word or that? And audiences can feel it. You don't connect with them. And it, it's not as impactful as it could be. With internalization, you've got the idea of what's coming next. And sometimes you'll say something brilliant in the spur of the moment that you've never said before, and it's perfect for that situation. So stop memorizing, start internalizing, and watch your impact grow. See you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.